everybody and welcome back to Stacia Expert Mode. In this episode, we make ourselves our energy condenser. Now we can condense anything that has an EMC value. We also get into making ourselves a creative tank so we can have infinite of any fluid we want. And we also make creative power. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we are finally going to be making most of our creative items. Now, there's still a few things we can't make, which is going to be like the creative energy cell, the philosopher stone, and the creative vending upgrade. We can't make those just yet because, of course, I'm going to require the philosopher stone before they can make these parts. And I'm going to need probably actually another cre energy, creative energy cell at this point because, by the looks of it, yeah, I'm going to have to craft a second one. Uh, but I only have enough to craft one now today, which we're going to do. So we have a look in here. I actually have everything to craft this. Now, I saw it says here at missing two, but I have them, but it just won't recognize the recipe for some reason. Even though I've reset the recipe and everything, it just won't accept it. So we'll just have to take everything out and just manually put it in ourselves. Uh, today, we'll also be able to make ourselves an energy condenser because if I look in here, I actually ran out of Electrum. Now, I know I have 17k, but when I was making the singularities, I kind of ran out of it, so... Uh, most of these ingots that we're going to need that we're really low on for, like, instant steel. I think we're kind of low on steel at the moment. I think we're only going to, like... Where is my steel? I actually don't see it in here. This is not called a steel ingot, but... Steel... No, I have 18k steel. Uh, okay. But we're going to be setting up the energy condenser now to start duplicating all this. But before we can make the energy condenser... Actually, no, we do have everything to make it. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Wait, how do I not have everything? I do have everything. Why is it saying I don't? Oh, now it says I'm a, I have everything. What? That was weird. Uh, so I do have everything. Okay. So I need two uwu terium pearls. And if we look at pearls here, I think I have like four. Yeah, I have four of them. So I can make myself one energy condenser. And I can make myself an everlasting guilty pool now today. And then we can make ourselves a creative energy cell. Even though technically we actually don't need the creative energy cell. So I might actually craft it and then hook it up and then let this thing power everything. Because we go over here, this thing's nearly full. Like you can see how much power we're, we're still producing nearly the 15 mil that we started off with. So like, I don't think we actually have to worry. Like this thing is outputting 2 million. And that's because, what, what do I have exporting at 2 million? What did I just see there? Oh, it was that thing. Um, I think it's the... Thermal, uh, one of these things over here, the resistive heater. I think I have like a million or two million being pumped out into the other one over where our actual reactors are. So I think I have that set up to pull out that much power. But like, we're still making more power than we're using, so it doesn't matter. So let's get started with our energy condenser. So let's teleport over to this building over here and set up everything inside the actual the crafting table. So let's grab everything we need. And last but not least, integrated dynamics. Integrated. I need the input variable and the output variable. I think that's it. Yep, it is. So after all this time, we have now got ourselves an energy condenser. It's been so long since I've used one of these. It's actually ridiculous. So let's teleport home and come back here. I've actually added a frame door to kind of hide this hole in the wall. So we can come back here to all this stuff. So let's just put this down, I don't know, like right here. And you can see, you put the item you want to duplicate up in the top left. And you add items in the inventory here that will fill up this bar, depending on how much EMC everything is worth. And it, once it reaches the threshold, it will produce one item. Let's start off with steel then. So if we grab our, ourselves some steel, and then make ourselves a couple emerald blocks. Stacks of emerald blocks, as you can see, a stack holds 9 million emerald. EMC. So we put the steel in here, add that in, and then just add the steel, like or the emeralds like this. As you can see, it is building up the steel. And it will just keep producing steel. And I can just keep taking the steel out as it produces stacks of it. So if we can get a system just pumping in items and then pulling out whitelisted items, we could just have a system in here just infinitely creating us items. Now, there is a way you can kind of dupe stuff if we have a look at blaze rods here this is like an old glitch back in tech classic and i'm pretty sure it's still a thing here 
So if we look at blaze rods, each blaze rod is worth a hundred or a thousand five hundred and thirty six. Now, if you use blaze rods to make blaze powder, you can see that one blaze rod is one thousand five hundred thirty six, and then two powder or one powder is seven hundred and sixty eight, and the two of them together uh, is equal to one thousand five hundred thirty six. Now, if you were to in, in to, where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. If you can crush it, you'll double it. So there you go. You're making two blaze rods for the price of one. And I think there is, yes, this guy here, the mechanical squeezer. So one blaze rod will produce five blaze powder. That's two and a half extra blaze rods. Well, technically one and a half because two would equal back to the same value. So you're basically getting one and a half extra blaze rods. So if you had a system constantly making this and then pumping the overflow of the EMC into one of these EMC or the energy condensers, you could essentially infinitely dupe any item that has an EMC value. As you can see, this thing is still going because there's like, it requires 252, but I'm after putting in like a couple 9 million uh, stacks worth of emeralds. So this thing is just going to keep producing steel for a while. So that's pretty cool. So any item I need to duplicate. So like, okay, we're done with the steel now. This thing has a stored EMC value in here. I know it doesn't say it. But now let's say I want some Electrum. So grab some Electrum, put the Electrum in here. Boom, Electrum stacks of Electrum. So I can just like sit that there, just craft, craft as many as I want. And it's amazing. So let's start with the next item. We need to upgrade this altar. Now, I think it's the this guy here that requires the altar. Um, but we might as well upgrade our Astral Sorcery altar now. Pretty sure it's nighttime. Uh, I actually can't tell with this rain. But we can get to work on grabbing, grabbing out everything we need to upgrade to this iridescent altar. So we're going to need ourselves some rune marble. So let's make a few pieces of that. We're going to need ourselves some glass lenses. So do I have any of those left? Glass lenses. I do. Then we're going to need ourselves, actually, I'm going to bookmark that. Oops, uh, put that back. We're going to need some sooty marble, so let's grab a little bit of that. And some attuned, or just any crystal. Wait, is that rock crystal? Does it have to be an attuned crystal? Okay, it has to be a celestial crystal. I'm trying to remember how to make that now. So if I grab myself a bucket of starlight, so craft one of those. Okay, let's grab out our astral tome, because I can't remember exactly how this, is, how this works. So I think you need the astral tome. And then I think you throw two things, a crystal and the powder into it, and it grows the crystal. So where is my Astral Tome? There it is. So Astral Tome, let's just double check. So I can't remember where it is in the book, but I'm pretty sure you just throw this in the ground. You grab yourself a rock crystal, depending, it doesn't matter which size it has. So we'll just grab a random one. Then I think you just grab some star metal or some stardust. Um, Make sure my magnet is turned off. I think you just throw one of those in there. And one of these in there, I think. And then over time, okay, yeah, there is some particles now. And I think that grows into a cluster. And then over time, it will grow into a fully grown cluster. And you can harvest it for your celestial crystal. Um, I can't remember exactly how long this takes. But we can use our time in a bottle to speed it up. Oh, yep, there we go. So here's the cr cluster. And I think it's ready once you see some particles coming off it. So if we use our time in a bottle to speed this up, hopefully it grows quicker with this. I think it did before. We can get to work by putting everything else in the altar now as well. So we need some resonating gems. So let's see, do we have any resonating gems? Uh, no, but we can craft four. There we go, four gems. So let's put these in the corners and get this ready. Oh, no, that's stardust. So gems in the corner, sunny marble here, here, and here, I think. And then ruined marble across the bottom. I think that actually goes there, and these go there. Is that right or am I wrong? No, I'm wrong. These need to swap places. Glass lens in the top, and then I think you just put your celestial crystal in the middle. Yes. Oh, okay. You see, it's fully grown now. Once you have these little white particles coming off, it is fully grown. So you break it, get a little bit of extra stardust, uh, star, yeah, stardust, and then you get your celestial crystal. So I'm pretty sure it's not turning nighttime. So let's grab ourselves our ash. I added mending onto it. Uh, some lapis. And let's make it nighttime. And I'll put the crystal in the center here. You can see uh, it requires that much starlight to be able to craft it into the next tier altar. Now, 
Once this altar is upgraded, we need to craft the next uh, actual altar structure, as you can see, which is this. So once this is done crafting, we need to expand it to fit that. Actually, I don't think you actually have to expand too much. I think you just have to add this top layer on and it should work. So I need to wait for it to get a little bit darker. As you can see, the sun's only still going down. Uh, I would actually sleep to get rid of this rain right now. Uh, we'll just deal with it for now. Okay, it should be available. Yep, there it is. So right click. As you can see, blocks are changing. It's powering up the corners for some reason. And the ground looks beautiful. I don't know how long this takes. I'm pretty sure it only takes like uh, a couple of seconds. There we go. So your vision expands. You learn more about radiance. Okay. Now let me pick this up for the challenge. There we go. And now let's actually add these on. So I need to do this like that. And then this comes out tree on each side like this. So there's a one block gap between each piece. Oop, a bit of lag there causing me to miss some places. And you break these ones underneath the corners here. Because they're not supposed to be there. There we go. So the altar's working because apparently this light appeared. Um, sure. And now with that, we can actually now craft ourselves our containment chalice. Doesn't require any kind of constellations, which is great. So if we want now, so we just get some gold, star metal, and some sooty marble. So let's grab all those now. So a bit more sooty marble. Do we need any other special marble? Uh, no, just need some star metal. So star metal, some aquamarines, and some gems. Right, that should be enough to make a couple of these chalices now. So how many can we make? Eight. And how many do we need per one? Eight. Okay, so that's enough to make one fluff of stone when we have everything later on. So let's get this crafted. Looks beautiful. I don't know what's up with the cloud glitches there. I might actually even turn off the clouds. But what is up with this light? I've never seen this before. Damn, it's going to be morning time by the time this thing's finished. What's taking it so long? What's going on? Is it meant to take this long? Like, it doesn't require any thing, I hope. This is taking a very long time. Oh my god, I just realized what's missing. Oh my god, I completely forgot about this. I actually need to make some of these astral relays to be able to power it. I completely forgot. Look, it's asking for an aquamarine. I completely forgot about that. Look, I need another one here, another one here. I completely forgot about this, this process. Oh my god, that's why it was taking so long. I never gave it all the ingredients. Because I was looking at the recipe and I was like, huh, those aquamarines are not there. Oh, it needs one more. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice you for a moment. Hopefully this is still enough starlight. I hope I don't need any more. I need one, two, three, four, five. And I have five down. So it should craft now. Oh, yeah, I can see the particles going now. Okay, please craft now because... This is actually... Okay, yeah. I've been... <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Well then. Now we've got it. So I need to make more Astro Relays is the thing. Okay. So let's put this there and just add back the glass pane. And let's make one more. I only made one. I need to do this eight times. Seriously? All right. This is the last one. Where is this going? There. It turns out you can actually speed up the thing and it just instantly crafts it. Like it's really quick. Didn't know that. I've been sitting here for the last 20 minutes making these things. Anyway. Uh, oh, hello. Fly away then. Uh, so now I've got the eight of these. Now we can't use them today, but at least now we have them for when we need to make ourselves our Philosopher's Stone. So, but it looks a bit, I'm going to have to recraft myself another eight Ultimate Catalysts, another two Supremium Ender, Ender Pearls, and then I'm going to be making, my, making myself the Everlasting Guilty Pool now, which is then going to be used to set up all the other crafting and maybe do a little bit of mana enchanting. Now, I don't know if we can get really into the enchanting now today, but I will go over it quickly. I think we might have a little bit of time. So let's go down and last, make the last two things that we're going to make now today, which is going to be the creative energy cell and the actual everlasting guilty pool. So I think I have everything for the pool. So let's have a look here. Uh, let's go into our crafting. So everlasting. So please tell me I can craft because I know I have issues with the one, the, uh, the mana mirrors. Of course, even though I have eight of them. So, mana, mirror. You can see I have eight of them there. So, let me just take out the eight of them. 
Can I go back in? Okay, apparently they're all glitched out. So let me just hold them all in my inventory. Open this guy. Take out the crafter. Go all the way back over here. Reset it. Put it back in here. Clear this. Open this. Everlasting guilty pool. There we go. And you, 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 and you. Now, hopefully this doesn't change the actual recipe once I add them back into the inventory. So now, hopefully, if I take out this, go back over here. If this doesn't work, I'm going to have to take everything out manually. But I don't know why the... I hate the NBA data or the NBT data that just conflict even though I have the item. It just makes no sense. But anyway, let's have a look now. So pool, can I craft it or is it going to conflict with the mirrors? Nope, I have everything craft. So everything should get pushed into this chest, hopefully. That's what's supposed to happen. What's going on? Why is nothing going into this chest? Am I missing something? Oh, it's got a craft. Oh, I forgot. I'm in the process of crafting the Uotarium block. Okay, hang on. Cancel that for a second. This thing is almost done. So once that's done, uh, I'll be able to make it. So start. What do I actually have to craft? I need to... I thought I had everything. Why is it looking to craft another... 49 blocks of this stuff. Oh, um, okay. I just realized. Yeah, the Supreme is Ender Pearl. If we look here, uh, that's going to require another Uotarium Pearl. And I need four of them, which is going to require a lot more Uotarium. Never mind. I misjudged that. Uh, so it looks like we won't be making the Everlasting Guilty Pool. Maybe next episode we'll be able to make it. Alongside with the Creative Vending upgrade and the Flosser Stone. Okay. Let's just make ourselves the Creative Energy Cell now. So I need to make myself Crystalline Catalysts. So let's craft those up now. And you know what? We might as well make the actual tank now as well too. And set that up to start producing some sort of like fluid for what we need. I don't actually know what fluids we're going to need now. Uh, but I'm sure we'll find something for it. So let's have a look in here now. So uh, I think, yeah, can I actually craft the tank or do I have to manually pull out everything? So let's see. Uh, creative tank, start. Hopefully it pushes everything out into the thing. Yes, it did. So there we go. So pull everything out, hopefully. Okay, no, I can't fit everything. Uh, but let's just see. Okay, I won't let me pull out exactly everything. So let's see. So tanks go on the side. So let's lay the tanks in. Actually, I just stuck them in like that. Would that work? Oh, yeah, it did. All right, great. There we go. Create a fluid tank. So now we can make infinite of any fluid that we want. Let's grab ourselves a bucket. And what fluid do we want? What fluid is like the most important? Ether gas? Ether gas might not be a bad thing. Mineral resin, sap. Let's go have a look over here because I know there's probably a few things in here that we're probably going to need. So like, for instance, uh, latex, we're good on that. Pink slime, we're good. Ether gas. Yeah, we're not getting as much. So maybe I'll do ether gas as well. Creosote oil, not really. Sulfuric acid, I think we're actually okay on that now. Um, liquid mineral, latex, creosote oil, water, and liquid starlight, and then sludge. You know what? We're actually kind of okay in all those fluids. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come over here. This thing has been drilling oil constantly, and it's pretty much completely out. So... I'm going to turn this thing off. Um, I might actually leave it running, to be honest, uh, just because it looks cool. But I'm going to break this here. I'm going to put the creative tank here. And I need to grab myself now a bucket of oil. So, what was that sound? Oh, it's this thing dripping. I was like, what the hell is that dripping sound? This thing's going to be filling up with crude oil or crude oil. Actually, is this the same oil all the way over here? This is Silent Mechanisms oil. So I don't think it's the same one. I need the industrial uh, immersive engineering one, which is the crude oil over here. Okay, so I'll just have to wait until I have a bucket. Never mind, I have a bucket. So break that and then put this in there. Infinite oil. This thing's actually not going to pump anymore because, well, it's got nowhere to go. So I'm just going to grab myself a trash can and just pump it out into the trash because technically I don't need it anymore. So I'll just put that there and uh, you'll never see it. Now grab myself a wrench and just give me an advanced pipe upgrade. Why not? So extract, you in, and no things. And there we go. So now this is infinitely going to be crafting us lubricant, which is going to infinitely fill this guy up to make owl. 
make this thing go quicker. So you can see, I think it's start. Yep, it's rising faster than this thing is using it. And the diesel and the gasoline are completely full, even though I have them overflowing, which is grand. All right, finally, the last item that we can do today, which is the creative energy cell. So you can see we have everything except for these two, even though I definitely have them. I need to grab out the cells here. So let's look up cell and let's take out 32 of these. Oh my God, they don't stack. That's so annoying. Oh, you know why? Because they're filling up my hotbar. This thing is charging in my hotbar. Uh, so let's just get all these shoved in here. Oh, is it 32 of them? I did request the exact amount, so hopefully. Uh, then we're going to need myself uh, the catalyst. So catalyst, the four of these. Then I'm going to require ultimate ingots and singularity. So ultimate uh, singularity and an ultimate ingot. So add these in and add these in. Then I'm going to require, it looks a bit, ultimate energy cube. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. So cube. There's the cubes. Now I need my HV capacitors and flux storage. So let's look up flux. So I need the 12 of these. Okay, they do stack and they are not filling up my inventory. That's grand. All of the other things, the HV capacitor. So HV capacitor. Uh, they're probably filling up my inventory to get those out. Then I need the battery upgrade. So upgrade. Then I need the creative essence. So creative essence. There we go. Then I, is that everything then? I think so. Oh, wait, I need the two dense energy cells. So dense. There we go. Energy cells. Add all these in. Now, if I click this. um, Oh, I only grabbed one of those. Oh, and I need the induction cells. Okay, never mind. Hang on. So cell. So induction cells. And the another ultimate ingot. Now I should be able to craft it. There we go. Creative energy cell. From power. This thing. Infinite energy. Doesn't matter. Just come over here and this thing, I need to plug this onto a plug, which is back here. If I just put this there, this thing is just disabled output and this thing is just going to fill to the max. Like inputting 157 million FE a tick. We can power whatever we want now with using as much power as we want. It does not matter. We have got infinite power. Infinite fluids, infinite gases, and we would have had infinite uh, mana now today, but unfortunately I overlooked crafting the actual uh, four Supremius Ender Pearls, which I will craft now before next episode. So hopefully next episode we can make our everlasting guilty pool and make our armor even more OP than it already is. So I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you all in the next episode. So without further ado... Goodbye.